turned yellow. Now, this is one of those stores that are print on demand, but it's very niche down to a specific market. Obviously, as you guys can see by the screen, it's, um, you know, Simpsons inspired type of POD. Because I believe that this store is so, um, well, I would say that they are unique, but also at the same time, they've, they've leveraged traffic that that's in an existing market, but then also translated that into POD. If we look at their website from a mobile perspective, it looks 10 times better and, you know, turn and turn into an iconic yellow character. This is one of those um, stores where it's just very, very niched. So if you guys plan to build a POD store or some form of e-commerce store, remember that you have to be very, very niche down in terms of how you really want to represent your store. Now they go into exactly how it works, select the background, choose a number of people, talking about exactly what the product is, how to use it and what it does. This product is very simple, it's very clean, and people already know what the Simpsons are. That's why this works very well. And the whole point of this entire page, the home page, quote unquote, is I believe that this might be their landing page. I'm not entirely sure. They're just trying to build social proof, okay? At the end of the day, your goal, if you guys are um, building a store up, and if you guys are building products like this or any type of product, the whole goal is to build trust with the prospect and the client that go on your stores. Like there's no reason why someone would buy from you unless they gave you, you know, their full trust, you know. Why would someone put in their card number unless they got full trust from you? So you have to understand that. So what they're doing here is just bulletproofing the entire store from showing you how it works, what it does, building social proof, um, reviews, and then also they have on this page, I believe, Andy Mandel. I think that's how you say his name, Andy, right? Is it Andy or I might be completely wrong, but they were featured on a big show and they sent one to this guy and this probably solidified them. Now, if we look at their, you know, daily traffic, like here, I need to close this here. Their daily, daily to monthly traffic, their monthly traffic is 110,000 to 100, like 111, 111,000, like on average. And their bounce rate is 60%. So that means the other percent must be, I'm guessing it must be conversions. I mean, I'm not entirely sure, but um, if we go to their product page, right? They tell you what the product is. It's very simple. They have Afterpay, which is very easy to use. It's very cheap too. It's $30. I'm sure that's almost nearly all profit if you guys understand POD. Um, the only thing they probably have to pay is shipping. Um, these are one of those products, guys, like you can sell anything. Upselling multiple different forms of their artwork on different pieces. Again, POD, trying to upsell, upsell, upsell. And then price, guidelines, dimensions and shipping and returns so it's a digital product so it's like it's one of those products that are just very very easy to um quote unquote scale i'm not entirely sure because i don't i'm not in pod but yeah so let's just break down some math here i have six six million that's what my guess is for this store i'm sure they're making at least five hundred thousand per month but um this is pure gross revenue this is not profit this is gross revenue just based on this single image alone with none and just the character itself, they're making 3.3 million in revenue. And that doesn't include everything else. So I'm sure that depending on how much they're charging on this product with this and that and all these upsells, my guess is that if we just multiply that number by maybe three times, three or two times, at least three times, they're, they're at least at 10 at least nine, seven, seven to ten million dollars. That's my guess here. I'm not entirely sure, but that's that's my entire guess. And their direct traffic source. Where do they get the traffic source? So most people go directly to them. Some of them come from social, but it's mainly direct. So you know, if you guys are good at SEO, understand how to you know build your website like that. But let's just check their live sales. So they had live sales two hours ago, and. A year ago, a year ago. Hmm. I'm sure they're making more sales than this. This app is not that accurate. They, it is sometimes accurate, but right now it isn't. I believe that they're making sales at least every single hour or every three to four hours. So hope you guys take advantage of the knowledge that you learned in this video. Again, I just want to shoot this because I thought it might be very useful for you guys. 
but um, I just wanted to show you guys, you know, a seven to multi seven figure store. So if you found that video very informative, very useful for your business and for your Shopify stores, check out this other video I made here on another store. It's going to be the first link in the description.